on everybody? Welcome to this FTG uh, reveal here of the Digital Storms Custom Systems PC that I received in the mail a couple days ago. Uh, these guys have done an awesome job with this. I can't wait to showcase what uh, what they built for me and uh, and what I've got going on here. So a couple of things real right off the quick here. I want to thank everybody that subbed here the past couple of weeks. Uh, you guys have just kind of flooded in here. I'm on console right now, which is unheard of to see console gamers, especially in the sim market, doing really well uh, and having a great start on YouTube. Uh, you'll also see this hashtag FTG United coming out uh, here and there. Probably see some in the comments for this video and other stuff. If you want to know what that FTG United is, go ahead and log on to us one night around 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and check out a live stream if you enjoy uh, any of the Farm Sim 17 titles or if you enjoy X Plane. Uh, ATS, ETS, those are all going to be additions coming in the summer. So jump on over there, uh, come on over there and introduce yourself and say, hey, I was sitting here by yourself here on your video for your PC in Digital Storm, uh, and I would love to get to know you. So I guess go ahead and crack into this thing. I'm not going to spend too much time here in the intro. One more thing. Hello and welcome. Bonjour, bienvenue. Hola, bienvenidos. Uh, welcome and welcome in. I'm still working on my Polsky. You guys just hold on. I am going to have that here in the next couple of live streams. So appreciate you guys. I always like to say a little something, a little shout out to... Uh, all the guys from other Mo's and other bros here all over the world uh, that come in and actually change into the channel and actually um, tune in and try to communicate. It's awesome uh, trying to uh, at least maneuver around the language barriers, but I know it's always nice to hear your own native tongue when someone's trying uh, to make you feel welcome. So welcome to you guys all across the world. Let's look at this Digital Storm Custom Systems coming at you here in five. Alright guys, here we go, uh, little Digital Storms customized systems here. Start off with a couple things, uh, we'll go from the least to greatest, uh, at least in my book. Uh, gamer, you know, keyboard and mouse combo, you know, woohoo! It's black, uh, actually black keyboard, solid black with all blue LED backlit, which it may be cool. You know, it looks kind of cool in here, so we'll see. Uh, it's just very generic, there's nothing hugely uh, special about that one, so, you know. No, no big, no big throwouts that the Devastator till we actually get it put on. Uh, but I guarantee you that it devastates the competition. <laughs> that was my own cheese ball joke there. I can't help that all by myself. Here we go. Digital Storm. This is my accessory box. I know it's nothing hugely, uh, you know, it's nothing grand here, but it is a nice little branded box here. It comes with everything. This can be stacked up in anywhere on your desk. Put up on your bookcases. It does come with all the relative information for all of the components that come with your machine. It's not just a random box of stuff. We've got the Wi-Fi extenders here. So you put your uh, Wi-Fi signal uh, on your table with you. Comes with all the antennas with your panel cords. It's got a couple of, uh, also it has a couple of these video cards in here for hooking up to monitors and whatnot. Uh, so we got Windows CDs in here, 64-bit. Windows Pro 10 is what I went with. So I'm kind of excited about that. All quick start, quick start guys. And uh, all of our VPI or VIP member notices from all the gaming stuff that I have uh, hooked up to this machine. So uh, we will uh, we'll maybe dive into that in a later video if there's enough to really cover it on that. So nice little accessory box. We'll put that off here to the side. Now this right here is something I'm, I'm going to try to get in a little bit close and we'll see if the autofocus work, works okay on this. I think it's uh, I think it's doing okay. All right, so uh, pretty much digital, digital storm customized system certificate of ownership. Now the cool thing about this is we've got actually, this is real, I mean I pulled it out and smelled the marker on it. This has got the guy's signatures uh, that signed off on everything and my seal of pass uh, of approval here for my certificate of ownership. Now one of the cool things that this thing does have and does own, it does, you know, all the simple stuff, where to plug up stuff, what to look for, what kind of uh, video connectors you're going to need for certain aspects of maybe whatever style of gaming you're going to do. Other than that, man, drop comments. I'll try to help as much as I can. Obviously, YouTube, ironically, and Google are your best friends. Uh, so it's got issues with new arrivals. So if anything ever happens during the shipment or during the arrival, right here has got everything. And also, if something does not happen when you plug it on, turn it on, uh, boot it up. If something's not wrong, this kind of gives you a four-in-one on at least what to try before you start calling tech support. So, nice little thank you there from the Digital Storm team. Also got setup instructions, and I actually skipped one here. This has got all the phases of testing, six different phases of testing with this machine, which I was not really expecting. I know they said they were going to test it, but I, I'm sure that they get used to putting all these components, and they got the same components every single week in the same computers in the same cases, and they still completely go through this huge testing phase to make sure everything's on the up and up with your system. You're paying for it. 
set of instructions and also desktops with custom liquid cooling. So this kind of gives uh, everything. I don't have custom liquid cooling, but I do have liquid cooling, but it's all in a completely sealed unit. So warranty coverages and uh, terms and conditions. And then also I've got some driver CDs back here. Also your other window CDs, any other kind of driver CDs that has all of your standard stock original desktop stuff, go ahead, you've got a nice little sleeve to throw all that in. And uh, keep it all into a nice Digital Storm branded customized system binder. Love this. This was a great addition here for Digital Storm. So thank you guys. I actually really like that a lot. All right, let's slide that off and let's get to the moment here y'all been waiting for and me. So this is uh, the top here is all magnetic. So uh, pretty much you got these nice little magnets here. I'm going to see if you can see them right here. All these little, yeah. So all those are magnets. You don't have any snaps. And they all actually magnetize to these nice little uh bolts up here on the top so pretty cool this is an extra airflow vent now you do have standard stuff in here but if you want to pop this bad boy off do some serious gaming uh, we'll get to the processing for the cooling up here it's pretty cool so let's uh let's open this up let's see what how the video does on the lighting here I want to make sure you guys get enough lighting to where it's not just looking at a, a blank light let's start from the bottom and let's work our way up to the top I've got it actually set actual really bright in here so you guys can see all the components see how this thing just see how everything's wired up and how it looks man I'm just I'm so surprised uh, at how well they did on this, putting everything together, and just how fluid everything looks. So, let's start here from the plug-in to the wall, from the power supply, 750 watt EV3A power supply. This bad boy, 750 watts, this is an upgrade from what they originally sent in the, uh, in the package. I think it came with the 700. Uh, and then we've got Digital Storm. This is the two terabyte Toshiba hard drive. This is just standard, no, no solid state or anything, just standard hard drive. It also has got six total bays for hard drives. I didn't expect that. I don't think that I ordered that. Maybe it comes with it from, maybe this case comes with it. This case is about 45 pounds with everything in it. It's absolutely the heaviest thing I think I've ever picked up in a technology thing. And just to stick your head in there and smell it, whoo, man, that's almost, uh, I won't even get in that. Okay, so we got, uh, we got three bays down here, pretty simple grab, pinch and slide out. Pretty nice, I like that uh, feature. So if you gotta change some things out, add in and out upgrades, no problem, easy peasy. Uh, then we've got all of our PCA slots here on this Asus, uh, the gaming rig. Now this is, I believe, the Z280, the Z270 chip uh, from Asus. And this is the actual gaming uh, motherboard. It's actually specifically formulated for that. And we've actually got three PCA, or five PCI slots down here uh, that we have access to use. So this has three more that are available because I've got one of them is used by the Wi-Fi uh, wi uh, card here. So that's why I got that. I've got too many walls to go through to get Wi-Fi directly Ethernet into this machine. So uh, Wi-Fi will have to do so. I did get the bigger card. So as Wi-Fi grows here in the next couple of years, uh, this card is going to become more than valuable on itself. So I'll be able to produce and I'll be able to push all that information uh, faster than other back end too. As long as it can receive it, it can send it. And you're noticing the big GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. This is the 11 gigabyte system uh, from GeForce. This thing, absolutely uh, humongous. I've seen these things, I've seen people hold them, but to see them in person, it's huge. Um, so this, I'm excited about this. This is really gonna push a lot. As you can see, I do have some upgraded fans here. They are clear, these are RGB. Um, so I've got blue ones. I didn't put a huge amount of money because these Corsair uh, fans are exactly the same uh, as some of the other aftermarket upgrades, but they do have the lighting that does come through them. It's just got a small little plug into the uh, power supply. So uh, when those babies kick on, the lights kick on, and you know it's a, it's a little disco rave in here. I, I'm not going to be able to control them. I didn't go with the RGBA setups. No sense in doing it. I just said, I just let's just do these. So these upgraded fans do have a wider fan blade and a bigger fan blade, so it's going to move more air. Uh, into this. Now before I talk about processing, simple optics drive here. I've got three of these off aftermarket fans. I've got two on top processing and two on the bottom. So as this thing's going to pull and sink the air in and then straight out the front it goes, it's going to be really nice. Pull in a lot of good nice cool air from outside of the room. Pull it in, shoot it out of here. It's going to be really cool. I'm, I can't wait to see how this whole entire airflow system works in here. It's totally designed by Digital Storm Customized Systems. Guys, go give them a shout out. Go give them Tell them if you want to, let me throw this out really quick. Uh, if you decide that you want to do Digital Storm, I actually have something going on with them since when I, how much I pay for this, they have a referral program. So if you'll drop a comment and put your email or even contact me here through YouTube, you can email me at Full Tilled Farming. That's F-U-L-L. Actually, you know what? 
I'll put it in the description. Guys, go get it from there. I'll send you my name. You put that name in the referral and it sends a little something back here to FTG to continue to put good quality content out here on YouTube for you guys and, and maybe be able to help keep these video logs going so you guys want to see how I'm streaming and what kind of stuff I'm using. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is Game Show, which is where I'm streaming all my stuff from. So that one's in the works right now. Uh, so you guys go check that one out. It's going to be, it's going to be another good video. Okay. Uh, so here's our liquid cool system here on the process in the Corsair, and I couldn't tell you the exact numbers. I'll put it in the description here, uh, just to give you, a, you know, if you really want to know what I went after this. But I actually went up for the best underneath the custom liquid cool systems. So we've got our two main areas here that's carrying this liquid in and uh, pushing it into the uh, to the core process here. So we've got two fans, air cooled and liquid cooled, as well. So move some of that actual surface heat away from it, and this cools it internally. So I'm excited to see all that work. Uh, and then we've got right here is two strips of uh, 16 gigabyte memory here that's specially made and designed from digital systems. They do their own hard drives, they do their own solid states, they also do their own memory which is really cool. So if you buy one from one you can continue to buy their, uh, their equipment uh, to continue to go inside their machines. Really good setup, really good system they have there and uh, from what I can tell everything looks exactly, looks top notch. I mean, yeah, there's some stuff you buy on computers just looks cheap. Uh, their stuff looks really good. So the other little secret and the little sleeper that was in here, I sent a picture to my buddy and I was like, man, I said, I'm missing the solid state. I said, they didn't put it in. And he said, well, what are you talking about? And I said, well, I ordered a, uh, a solid state that's supposed to, and I've got slots back here where those solid states fit in. And uh, they've got a simple, uh, back over the power supply and they've got the cable that hooks in and goes in where all the other hard drive info goes. And I was like, dude. I was like, man, something's wrong here. I said, I should have some of that stuff, and it's not here. So I sent him a picture, and I said, what you got? You know, what, what do you have on here? And he said, well, he said, the only thing I think of is, you know, maybe you got an upgrade somewhere, maybe something happened. And I was like, well, I said, that just don't make no sense. And uh, so anyway, I got to look, and all the way underneath here, right up underneath here, I don't know if you can see it, this nice little white stick, that is it. It is the, uh, this is the big, the WD Blue 500 gig directly onto the motherboard. I did not uh, order that. So that was an upgrade. Maybe they were out of the others and decided they would just kick me up to the next level. So special thanks here from me, FTG, Full Tilt Gaming here at Digital Storms Customized Systems. Uh, that was awesome, guys. And that right there just solved you, saved you a lot of business here in the next couple because I'm going to push you stuff for that uh, as well as uh, I'm going to continue to buy from you guys. Totally awesome. I'm so glad you guys did that. Was not expecting, but it was the reason I was kind of cutting back and saving on some money from this machine. So, special thanks. All right, processing. So, let me talk a little bit about why I chose processing um, the way I did. Uh, some will probably criticize me in the comments for doing this, but you have to understand what I am uh, going to be simming. Um, the one thing about what I'm going to be simming is I'm going to be simming uh, X Plane 11. ATS, ETS, and Farm Sim 17. Now those are going to be my main four categories uh, starting this out. We'll see how this goes. See what games come out in the future. We'll see how things um, actually go from there. Uh, what I actually went with was the i7 7700K speed Cavi Lake core process, processors. Uh, now those things were standard at 4.2 gigahertz and I've actually pulled a stage 2 overclocked at 4.8. So there's two ways to look at gaming. Depending on what kind of games you're playing, what kind of tech uh, is behind that game as to how the engines uh, really push all that graphics to you and to your GPUs and to your monitors, or where it ends up on your monitors. When all that stuff kind of goes through and happens, I always think about it this way. you got to decide whether or not you want to try to slowly move the Atlantic Ocean, which is a bunch of multi-core, multi-threading processing where you're really trying to move a lot of info all at a generous pace all in the same time. So it might mean that you can, uh, you know, you can run a ton of professional apps all at the same time and everything's still firing, everything's still snapping. But you may be gamer because of the way that Alex Plane 11 uh, basically sends you all that information down to the GPU into your monitor. Uh, when it processes all that, it processes two main things. It processes the mathematical physics of how air, uh, air flows over the airfoils of an aircraft and how every single instance uh, from a mathematical and a physics standpoint, air reacts to the panels on an aircraft. That's what makes X-Plane so realistic. So if you pull that down to it and then you look at it again, one of the bigger things with X-Plane as well is you have all the GPU on one side 
graphics processing, then you have all of the mathematical on the other side. You don't have this multi-fingered support where it's pushing everything all at one time. So what I had to figure out how to do was how to push the Nile River at 120. Uh, that's the thing to me is what X-Plane requires you to be able to hop in something, be able to push an Nile River at 100, while the rest of them slowly at a nice generous pace pushes the Atlantic Ocean at let's say 50. So this is going to put a lot of pizzazz in X-Plane, I think. I built it for speed, not necessarily mass. Uh, some is probably going to criticize me, and that's okay. You know, criticize all you want to, but this is what I had to go with. This is what is going to work best with X-Plane. Uh, you ask anybody out there, even the new Risen chips and all this stuff, they're still slower because they're offering all this core support for everything that's going on here. So other than that, that's pretty much it on this machine as it is right now. There's not really anything else that's too spectacular in, in the forms of uh, pretty much cover everything. Our sticks, Wi-Fi, GTX, uh, 1080 there, TI, that's the 11 gig, 750 power watt supply, 2 terabytes, and the 500 gigabyte solid state, liquid cooled, i7 7700K Caddy Lake processing, unlock, uncord, uh, and overclock from 4.2 to 4.8, uh, and the regular optics drive. So nice double doors, swing doors on both sides, complete access. This is the Apollo case from Digital Storm. They've got about five different ones that's really top notch. And uh, so we'll, let's come back to you. I'll come back. We'll close up this video. We'll tell you what new is in store here at FTG. So thank you guys for uh, being with me here at this reveal for my Digital Storm Customized Systems PC. Uh, this has been awesome getting to look at this thing and actually do this video for it. So I could hope that you will continue to, uh, to check out some of my other log videos. We'll be covering, like I said, streaming, uh, what I'm doing, microphones I'm using, how I've got setups doing, how I'm doing monitors. Also, I don't know if it's going to show up a little sneak peek there. I'm going to get out of the way. I've got a new system there from GoFly that is going to be, I uh, haven't really revealed that yet. We're going to take a closer look at that. We're going to offer some programming videos for all of you guys on X-Plane that may want to look at possibly buying some of this stuff for some of the GoFly panels. We're going to look at using the uh, pro program stuff from another, uh, another guy that does some software with it. Uh, we're looking at plugging that into X-Plane, making all that stuff work. So I hope you'll join me for that. It uh, looks to be fun. This is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to what's happening with this channel. Uh, and that channel starts with you, the subscriber. Um, I can't thank you guys enough, and I really do mean that. I didn't know that I had the ability to do this. And a little bit of a heartfelt thank you from, uh, from me here. My name is Justin. Uh, nice heartfelt uh, thank you for you guys and your support. Uh, it takes a lot to keep this channel going. As you can see, investment, investment, investment in things. I've got other stuff for the PC that I'm going to be buying for yokes and pedals and other different controllers. Uh, things that's going on with ATS and, U and ETS, which is a Euro truck and American truck, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, we'll be buying steering wheels, pedals, gear shifters, trying to at least maximize the amount that I can actually provide and stream in video onto the live stream here on YouTube. So I hope that you'll uh, consider donating to that. I've got links in the bottom, PayPal and Streamlabs for those that don't do PayPal and do credit cards. I've got both of those. And join us in to do Super Chats on, uh, on uh, in our chat, man. It runs fast and sometimes if you want to get something out there said, you know, two bucks gets you all the way to the very top of it. Everybody gets to see what you're saying. Uh, and it's actually kind of, uh, some people call it hokey, but I think it's kind of fun. Um, I've done it before on quite a few others and it's nice to see your stuff stay up there and everybody gets to read it. So, hope you'll join me for a live stream. It's, uh, I implore you to come and, and introduce yourself and get plugged in here to what's going on at FTG United. I promise you won't be just disappointed with it. This has been fun. Uh, I will be back here at another video shortly. We're going to start looking at my streaming software. I'm going to push Game Show because those guys do a good job with stuff. I've had problems. Uh, but now the YouTube's UI is starting to come around. Streamlabs is working, the YouTube's working finally. So now I feel like the streaming, at least from the perspective of my computer and the software, is really off the road. So now we've got this going on now with the PC. This is going to be exciting. So I hope you'll join me in this for the next episode. Uh, give me a couple of weeks on the PC. Let me get things hooked up. Let me get things running. Uh, don't forget if you want to support, go ahead and support. Hit that subscribe channel, I mean, subscribe button if you enjoyed uh, this video and want to see more and enjoy those live streams. I'll continue to keep bringing good quality content to you. Don't forget to like this video on the way in and out. Much appreciated here at FTG United. I'm FTG. I'm Justin. We'll see you on the next time. All right, thanks.